people keep asking if I'm back, and I haven't really had an answer. But now, yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. Well, my friends, the end game has finally arrived. We are almost nearly one month away from the release of the newest title in the Life is Strange franchise, Life is Strange Double Exposure. As I've been telling everybody, the time for videos being ramped up has officially begun. You're going to be getting a lot of new content in regards to the newest Life is Strange in the coming days and final weeks leading up to its early release on October 15th for the first two episodes. So just as a fair warning to everybody, I'm getting the ultimate edition of the game. I will be able to play two weeks early. The, the full release is October 29th, but the first two episodes for the ultimate edition owners come out on the 15th. And I'm going to tell everybody in advance that yes, I am playing them early. I'm not waiting. I am not going to get spoiled. I'm going straight in on launch day for the ultimate edition owners. So that means the time is quickly approaching. October 15th will be here before you know it. Leading up to the release, you will get their final theory videos. There'll be a couple more. There will be a couple more update videos, maybe one or two, depending. There will be shorts covering little itty bitty things and my marathon, my long awaited, largely anticipated marathon where I'll be playing through all the Life is Strange games leading up to the release of Double Exposure. That will be beginning sometime early next month. Don't have a date yet planned, but I should have it probably figured out pretty soon. At PAX West in Seattle, which I actually attended, I was at the panel and I got to see this in person. There was 30 plus minutes of Life is Strange double exposure gameplay that was released and they had some questions. I'm going to go through both and there's also a video on the additions and some other little stuff that we're going to talk about. So this is a pretty major update. A lot of stuff related to the game will be discussed in this video. So I hope you guys do enjoy this. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe for more content covering Life is Strange. We go for 1,500 likes and join about the near 30% of people that are subscribed by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell. Have it set to all and miss any of my videos covering Life is Strange. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start with the new additions to Life is Strange Double Exposure. With Life is Strange Double Exposure releasing on October 29th, let's take a look at its three different editions. So, educate me. I want to know. The standard edition contains the game on its own. You'll get some customizable outfits included to jazz up Max's look, but this is for the players who just want to experience the amazing story. The next step up is the Deluxe Edition, containing the game and some additional outfit packs for Max. The Spooky Pack and the Decades Pack, with five outfits in each, so that's ten outfits total. You've then got the Ultimate Edition for the Life is Strange super fans. This contains the game, the Spooky and Decades outfit packs, and Final Fantasy VII, Paw Prints, and fan favorite outfit packs. That's a whopping 25 extra outfits. In addition, you'll receive the Cat Content DLC, where a lost kitty will call at Max's door. You'll look after it and try to reunite it with its owner, if you can. Finally, pre-orders of the Ultimate Edition will get two weeks advance access to the game, so you can dive into chapters 1 and 2 from October 15th, with the full game launching on October 29th for everyone. Boom. Let us know, which edition of Life is Strange Double Exposure are you going for? Shall we? Alright, so a lot to discuss there. The three main editions, really what a lot of you guys are going to be having to make a decision if you've not already made that decision of what edition you're going to get. So let's just start with the standard edition. So flat out and simple, you just get the game. It's $50. If you don't really care about the bonus outfits or any of the cat content, then this is your go-to. You get all five episodes and you just get the game. Nothing else included, but... There is a little customizable outfits. I guess you can customize Max's look a little bit, but you don't get any of the outfit packs. So, then there's the Deluxe Edition, where you get the game, but they give you two outfit packs. The Spooky Outfit Pack and the Decades Outfit Pack, which are these two outfit packs shown here. 
that's going to put you at about $60. Then the Ultimate Edition. You get the game. You get the Spooky in Decades, just like the Deluxe. But then you get the Final Fantasy outfit pack. You get the Paw Prince outfit pack. You get the Fan Favorite outfit pack. And the additional cat content little mini DLC mission. Now, of course, again, it's all going to come down to your decision. Do you want all these outfits and the cat content? Or if you could care less, you save $30. The only downside is you'll have to wait two weeks to play the first two episodes, which will likely be spoiled all over YouTube, Twitter, etc. You're not going to probably be able to avoid spoilers unless you completely dump off the internet for about two weeks. These are the five outfit packs, the top two, which are in the deluxe, and then you get the Final Fantasy, the Paw Prince, and the Fan Favorite. The Fan Favorite, in particular, has one that really I want to take note of here, and it's the LIS2 John Diaz wolf hoodie shirt sweater that Max is wearing. So overall, the reception is mixed on this. Obviously, people do not want to pay to play, and it's understandable. I don't like this, and again, it stinks. Yes, getting to play two weeks early is going to be awesome. For the people that don't can't afford it nor want to do it, I feel awful for you guys because, yeah, you're going to have to be avoiding spoilers. It's going to be a jamble. I hope not much is revealed in the first two episodes, but who knows what they'll do in those first two episodes. It's like two weeks. That's a significant amount of time. And like I said, it's only at the end of the day. It's cosmetical stuff, which are the outfits and a little cat content which we don't even know if that's gonna be will that be 20 30 minutes could it be a couple of, maybe an hour or two I, my guess is probably gonna be a 20 30 minute mission so and hopefully it's not too crucial the story it doesn't seem like it will be but yeah so let me know down below in the comments what edition you're gonna get and why i just gotta do it is chloe alive tell me i think that uh, entirely depends on the choice you make at the start of the game. Uh, if Chloe was alive when you finished the first game, uh, she should be alive at the start of this one. If you sacrificed her, then she's not around. Uh, and that is all I'm allowed to say about <laughs> Chloe for everybody. So just as a reminder, he just said, basically, if you're asking about Chloe, you're not going to get an answer other than that. And trust me, I keep tabs on social media. I am well aware that the Chloe price outcries are very loud, especially on Twitter and other social medias. Deck Nine has been very, very quiet on the matter. And that question was immediately brought up by the, the panel host about whether Chloe Price will be in, or whether she is alive in double exposure. And basically, the people from Deck Nine had said, if she was kept alive, she is alive. If she was sacrificed at the end of LIS 1, she's dead. The rumors and leaks have said, if she is alive, she will make a cameo appearance. If not, obviously you're just gonna get references like the photos and other stuff. Last game, uh, it was kind of a binary ending. I was wondering if we're going to have more than two endings in this one. Mm -hmm. We're not spoiling that. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, don't ask spoiler sorry. questions, baby. I should have prefaced that, too. All right. Cool. <laughs> You're going to have to play the game to find out. So, multiple endings. I definitely think it's going to happen. Will Deck 9 learn their lesson from True Colors? Because, listen, one of my complaints with True Colors was... The endings are pretty much the same. There's little differences, but it ends up being the same. So can we get some more variance? I don't expect them to go to Don't Not level like what they did with LIS 2 and LIS 1, but can we get some variance with the endings, please? Hello. Hi, I'm Alex. Uh, my question is, if this ends up being the final Life is Strange game, will it be a satisfying end to the series? That's my question. I mean, I hope it's not the last one. I have, <laughs> I have a mortgage. To, uh, um, no, I appreciate the question. Um, uh, 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 I mean, we don't... Hopefully, if, if this, for whatever reason, this is the last time you get to play, let's say, as Max Caulfield, hopefully you feel some closure, some satisfaction at the end there. Um, but then also very much hopefully this is not the last one of these we make. So. Thank you. 
And I do believe I will be making a video on this exact <coughs> comment after the game is over because this appears to be not the ending. I know that's not shocking to me because I don't think this, I don't think they're gonna stop Life is Strange anytime soon, especially considering True Colors was a hit. Financially, if you go look back at it, True Colors, despite its reputation, it sold really well. It was one of the best selling games in the franchise's history. And I think it had to do with the fact that they released all in one go and Deck 9, despite True Colors' faults, did a pretty decent job, I would say. So, they did end up saying that this does seem like it will be the end of Max's story, and it will be a concluding, definitive ending, and that you as the player will feel that, hey, this is, uh, this is it for Max, the, the final chapter. Uh, so we know that all the games are, at least two of the games are in the same universe, and now we have Max back. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have plans in the future to maybe bring multiple characters back in the same like avengers level kind of <laughs> okay, that's fine. everybody everybody wants to ask that question um no it would be cool yeah uh, uh no current plans but yeah all the all the games do take place in a shared universe um i don't know in a shared continuity um but uh yeah uh, uh, i don't think we have anything to announce in terms of our our end game uh, Infinity War pairing. Ah, yeah. boo! Just kidding. It was a good. It was a good one. So another thing I want to take a note is the Avengers Endgame theories that people have been bringing up for a while that they're going to bring all the main characters together when Life is Strange ends. They said no current plans for that. Interesting though. I'd love to see if one of the games just had one or two of the main protagonists meet up, and that'd be really cool. But you never know. But it doesn't seem like they're going to do it for now. Hi, I'm Seth. I was wondering if any of the effect, or any of the events that happened in Life is Strange 2, will that have an effect on double exposure? Uh, uh. I mean, Life is Strange is part of the same universe and it's part of the same canon, so in, depending on the choice that you um, input in your early scenes uh, with Safi, that takes into account Life is Strange 2 as well. Now, I'll believe it when I see it. I don't know if this means LIS 2 choices are going to matter, because it seems like Square Enix and Deck Nine have forgotten LIS2 exists, even though I think it's underrated and one of my favorites. I'll believe it when I see it, Deck Nine. I'll believe it when I see it. Um, I was wondering because there's like so many different powers between the the different protagonists of the games. Is there any sort of like background lore or anything mm -hmm. about why this paranormal stuff is kind of cropping up in the world? Anything like that? Hmm. Uh, I don't think we can answer that. <laughs> too spoilery, it sounds too, like. Too spoilery. Um, we, we could touch on the fact, like what you were saying earlier today about um, the fact that uh, you've probably noticed many of the powers for the other protagonists emerge in the fall, um, around Halloween. Um, this this takes place over holiday break. It's almost Christmas time, um, and as again you all know, the powers are not emerging for Max. This is a this is a development. This is a, a new season, if, if you will, of of her powers. So. Yeah. So hopefully this one maybe adds another spoke to that wheel, starting to fill in some of those blanks. Uh, but it's something that will eventually maybe be covered, possibly in the future. Uh, anything's on the table. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So take note of that there is a potential that they may answer why these powers happen in the future, but they did say describing Max's powers in this game as a new season of her powers. They are evolving, it's different, and as you could see in the gameplay demo, we're going to talk about videos going on a bit too long. I am going to make another video just on the gameplay in general, we'll talk about everything that happened with that. They are hinting stuff in that gameplay footage 30 plus minutes that kind of hints that Max's power is going to evolve throughout the game. Not just with the time that had passed between the first game, but throughout this entire video game. And hey, we might get an answer to that. So that's all the questions that were of relevance that I wanted to discuss were at the panel. So guys, that's going to do it for the video. I don't want to go too, too long because if I go through the gameplay and everything, that's going to go about a 30 minute plus video and I don't want to do that for y'all. So I'm going to split this into two videos. There'll be a gameplay one coming soon. 
And my first theory on Evil Max that I showed earlier in the video, I showed a little thumbnail preview of it. I've been asked a little bit about it. Yes, it will be made. So stay tuned for those two. We'll be in the coming days as we continue to get ready for Life of Strange Double Exposure, which is nearly dropping in a month for us Ultimate Edition over. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe. Let's go for 1,500 likes on this video again if you did enjoy. And thank you so, so much for all your support on all my Life of Strange content. I do greatly appreciate it. And make sure you show some more support, and I'll try to get these out as quickly as possible. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace and love, and bye bye